Hello everyone! Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions around a potential new Microsoft Teams certification called the MS720 Teams Voice Engineer. This certification is not yet released, but since I've been getting a lot of questions on Twitter, LinkedIn, I wanted to create a quick video with the information that we know so far. So let's take a look. So let's get started talking about the MS720 Microsoft Teams Voice Engineer. Before we go into the details, just a quick reminder that this video is about what we know so far from all of the different public sources about this exam. Microsoft has not yet officially launched the exam, so all of the information so far can actually change between now and when the exam is released. Okay, so now let's take a look at what public information we're talking about. First of all, at the beginning of June, on June 9th actually, Microsoft shared on the tech community in the Microsoft Learn community an opportunity to blueprint the Microsoft Teams voice engineer. As you can see in the second paragraph, the text that they used is Microsoft is considering a new certification for the Microsoft Teams voice engineer role. So really, at this stage, when I first saw it, it really felt like this was not final, this was not closed. Because you can take a look at the way that they formulate things. Sometimes they say, hey, we need help blueprinting for this new certification. And sometimes they say, Microsoft is considering a new certification. So really, I did not make a big deal out of it then because I wasn't sure if it was actually going to happen. However, what did we learn from that survey? First of all, we saw that the name was Microsoft Teams Voice Engineer. And also really interesting in the survey about the questions, it actually used this language. A Teams voice engineer must have completed the MS700 Microsoft Teams administrator certification as a prerequisite. So this would really be a really more expert level certification. But let's talk about that. What will be the level of the certification? If you ask me, when I usually think at the word engineer, I usually think at an expert level certification. Some of you that have been doing Microsoft certifications for a while, you might even remember the Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer, which was a really expert level certification. And since we know that there might be a prerequisite for it, it actually helps to envision that this is an expert level certification. So that was really my first taught when I looked at the survey. However, if we take a look at the latest actually two exams released by Microsoft, they actually have associate level exams that have the engineer name in it. More specifically, the Teams Support Engineer name and the AZ700 is an Azure Network Engineer. Both of them have engineer in the name, but they are associate level certification. So we do not really know yet. It might end up being a standalone associate certification like the team support engineer, or it might also end up being a certification that actually requires two exams, such as the modern desktop administrator, which requires both MD100 and MD101. So this is what we knew in June. But I didn't really look a lot more into it again because it said Microsoft was considering a certification. However, at Microsoft Inspire, which actually happened, again, only last week from the time I'm recording this video, there was some great information in one of the sessions. I'll put a link in the description below. 
And I would really like to thank Philip Kahn for the tip. He sent me the information about Twitter with the session and the timestamp when they talked about it. But this is the first time that in a Microsoft conference, in a public forum, Microsoft said, hey, there's an exam coming soon. It's the MS-720, so we really got the exam number and the confirmation that this will be the team's voice engineer name. So we know that it's coming soon. There hasn't been an exact timeline given for the exam beta release. However, another Microsoft Inspire session actually mentioned fall 2021 as the timeline. So this is really something that I expect will be at least in beta by the end of calendar year 2021. So this is it. This is all of the information that we have so far. I know it's not a lot, but there's not a lot of public information out there. So really, please let me know in the comments with what you have seen so far about the MS-720 Teams voice engineer. Is it something that you're excited about? Do you think this was a certification role that was missing from the current portfolio? Or were you hoping that Microsoft would actually release another certification this year? Again, thank you very much for listening to this video. I know it's a bit short, but it's all the information we got so far. So if you have enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date with the latest Microsoft certification news, please like this video, click on subscribe, and let me know in the comments what do you think about the certification. Are you excited or not? Thank you again for watching this video.